Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am at Mango Visitor Center, which is the gateway to Mango National Park, part of the World Heritage listed Willandra Lakes region in New South Wales. This place is amazing and I can't wait to show you around. Please watch my separate video on Mango Wool Shed, which is just meters away from the visitor center. The visitor center has some great displays and free tourist information that tell you about the history and culture of this region. You can learn about the ancient lake system that once covered this area and the rich Aboriginal heritage that dates back over 40,000 years. You can also see some fossils and artifacts that were found here, including the famous Mango Man and Mango Lady, the oldest human remains ever discovered in Australia. You can also witness a timeline of human and geological history with images of human figures representing 10 generations each. The visitor center also has some facilities for visitors such as picnic, barbecue and toilet facilities as well as showers for campers. You can also pay your camping fee and park entry fee at the visitor center using the self-registration system. If you are looking for accommodation, you can stay at the Mango Shearer's Quarters which offer basic rooms with beds and linen. The Shearer quarters are next to the historic Mango Wool Shed, which was built in 1869 and used for sheep shearing until 1978. You can also visit the wool shed and see how the wool industry shaped this region. One of the best things to do here is to join a guided tour from the visitor center led by rangers from the region's three Aboriginal groups. They will take you to see some of the most spectacular landscapes and cultural sites in the park. You can also take a self-guided tour like I'm doing now and we are going to Walls of China in Mago National Park. This is a place where nature and culture meet and where you can witness the history of humanity and the earth. The Walls of China are not actually walls but a series of sand dunes that form part of the lunette of Lake Mango. A lunette is a crescent-shaped ridge of sand and clay that forms on the edge of a dry lake. Lake Mango was once a freshwater lake that covered about 200 square kilometers but it dried up about 18,000 years ago. Since then, the wind and water have been sculpting the lunette, creating these stunning formations that look like walls from a distance. But the walls of China are not only beautiful, they are also very important for the Aboriginal people who have lived here for over 50,000 years. This is a place where some of the oldest human fossils in Australia were found, such as Mango Man and Mango Lady.
These are the dry lake basins. Uh, lake Mangu is just one of the Villandra systems, 13 dry lake basins. These were once prime waterfront real estate locations with uninterrupted lakeside views. Lakes were teeming with life. Water was supplied via the Villandra Creek, a former branch of the Lachlan River. Dry basins preserve long records of fluctuating water levels, filled and overflowing 60,000 years ago, a time of abundant water supply. A pattern of wet, dry oscillations followed. Dried finally near 17,000 years ago, an expression of widespread aridity. 17,000 years later, the abandoned Villandra Channel remains clearly visible today, both on the ground and from the air. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.